Hello everybody, this is Clarice Myers coming to you live. And um, I was supposed to come on here about six, but uh, I hadn't finished dinner and I had to get certain things done. So anyway, while that stuff is going on in the pot, I thought, okay, it's a little bit late, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this live because I told you I was gonna come and share a little bit more about this book. It's called The Four Hour Work Week written by Timothy Ferris. Well, today, what, what I read today, oops, see, sorry. That was quick, quick action here. Yes, I was reading a little bit about his background, um, just to give you some information about him. He says, as a child growing up, well, before he was born premature, he was born in 1977, um, premature and they had given him a 10% chance of survival. So he kind of like got a, a rough start at the beginning. And he said he, when he started kindergarten, he almost failed because his teacher said, you got to learn the alphabet. He said, why? And because she said, because I'm the teacher and I say you have to do it. And for him, it didn't make any sense. So he refused. He almost failed. And he's talked back to the teacher. And she said um, something about his his mouth. He he he, whatever. He got put. In, he got in trouble. She put him on the table with the bad kids. And she he said, uh, he said that she made him eat a bar of soap. Hmm. Well, that, I don't know what teacher that was, but oh, that's that's abuse right there, in my opinion. He's right now about forty-one years old. And he listed a whole set of things or accomplishments that he's done in his 41 years. Um, but at, at the time, he was, I think, only 20. When this book was written, I think he was 29. So here's some of the things that he says he has accomplished. He was um, a guest lecturer at Princeton. Um, he says he was the first American in history to hold a Guinness world record in tango dancing um that's that's a surprise especially when he says uh, when he started out you know he was very i say over overweight or on the heavy side his words were he said i was fat and that he couldn't even roll on his stomach so for him to have accomplished a world record in tango okay i don't know a whole, a whole lot about him but that tells me he must have done some exercises or used the uh, um, dancing to help get himself in, in shape. He says he was an advisor to more than 30 world record holders in professional and Olympic sports. He was um, uh, in Weird Magazine, the greatest self-promoter of 2008. So he, he, he's done a whole lot. He was a national Chinese kickboxing champion and notice there's a whole lot of different um, sport activities. He says that he was an MTV break dancer in Taiwan. Uh, he was a hurling competitor in Ireland. He was a, an actor on a hit TV series in China and Hong Kong. I think that series was called Human Cargo. Um, so he's been able to accomplish a lot of things in his life, in his short life. And he says he's going to share with us how he was able to do that. And I'm very interested in, number one, he said he went to Princeton. When he was admitted into Princeton University, his, um, his SAT scores were 40% below the average student. So I'm like, how did he get in? Seems like he was surprised too. So all of this, this um, background lets us know that there was nothing special or outstanding about him. So he was like an average, ordinary person. So if he, this average, ordinary person, like you and me, has been able to accomplish all these things, that means there should be nothing to stop us. So I'm anxious to find out more about uh, Tim Ferriss, Timothy Ferris, in this four hour work week. 
So join me again tomorrow when I'll just share some more about what he, Tim, has been able to accomplish. And he has the recipe to give us so we can duplicate. All right. Um, let's see. I see it says one person here. And, but I can't see who you are. Sorry. Um, anyway, I'm glad that you can join me. And um, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye now.